here's what our next step is. You have beautifully articulated these two models. And the next thing we need to do is step back and examine the models. And this is kind of an interesting quote by Albert Einstein. We cannot solve our problems with the same thinking we used when we created them. So it's now time to step back and really understand what these models are and separate ourselves from our former thinking about the models themselves. So here's task one. I want you to look at these models and if you want to, you can stand up and step back if, if that helps you or you can stay seated. But I want you to figure out what is interesting about these models to you. Draw lines to show connections across the benefits of each model. So go model by model first and say, what is interesting here? What is similar between the benefits of all the stakeholders? And then I want you to look at both models together in front of you and see, do we have any benefits that I could connect across the models, but maybe are delivered in different ways in each model, but it's actually the same benefit. Are you ready? Let's go. A lot of times I've been trained just to like take one idea and challenge other ideas, but now I've been like learning that you know there's not I mean, it's not always black and white. Like there's more than one way to deal with things, and that um, you know just because you have a different opinion than someone else doesn't mean that you're right and they're wrong. Um, and so. Yeah, everyone, everyone else has a different way of thinking about things, whether they're from our own school or from a, a different country. Everyone has their own ideas and mental models. And so um, it's important that we value other people's models too, so we, based on their past experiences in life. And so um, it's, it's a good way to better understand people and why they think the way that they do. And so very aligned because like this, this one revolves around them wanting the students to be happy, right? Tell me what you found. Okay, so an idea on how to teach the classes. Yeah, so we connected this element here because this one, where you can, uh, where the students are interacting with the teacher, it also gives the opportunity to better know the students. Interesting. This is where human rights come from. I truly believe that integrative thinking provides, um, as well as um, the six C's for deep learning, it is all about building an empathetic culture. It's about understanding that our perspective is not the only one and that standing with a singular stance doesn't help us solve problems and it doesn't help us build a culture that cares about human rights. And so I think that these tools are simple, clean, elegant, and so easy to use to allow um, people to understand that there are other perspectives in the world that are important and that we need to value them and understand them so that we become better citizens. So task two is about us looking at these benefits and putting a heart beside the benefits that you agree are important and that you would like to see in the new model. The sense of community is like important within a school. That's what you wanted, you wanted to accomplish here. Like that's what we're trying to solve. We're trying to get a better sense of community. So we think it's really important that that's one of our main focuses. And the parents have to be involved in it as well, not only the children, because they're like, yeah, a big they're part of it. That's really ultimately the decisions. Before we started this process, would you have thought that I'm going to be thinking about parents? No, no. not really. That's interesting. That's I, fascinating. I mostly focused on the students since these events are for the students. Everyone's accepting the ideas and then using them to like spark a new idea in other people. So then you can like bounce ideas off each other and then create one big idea in the end. It doesn't really matter what anyone else thinks. You can give out your ideas and they'll be right in some way. So we're on to the last task, which is task number three of examining the models. And here's what I want you to do. I want you to look at the benefits of the whole school model and summarize those benefits in one word. And then I want you to look at the in-class model and look at those benefits again that you loved and summarize those benefits in one word. Let's go. I've always struggled with being really negative in the past and it's just really interesting to try to only look at the good things about ideas and try to make something new. Better learning environment. And this one. Planning more about the Yeah, it's actually more about accommodating the students though. Yeah, it's right? about like yeah. so what tell me what words are coming to mind that you see that relate to these benefits here. Growth. I feel like something, I feel like there's, um, I feel like it should be more about comfort. 
like home. Home, yeah. Yeah. Like, I've always struggled with like voicing my ideas, but with this, it's a lot easier to do it because it's like no ideas are shot down. There's value in even what seems like the worst idea. Can you think of a word maybe that combines the depth, yeah, the, the depth. comfort? When they said something, it would spark one of my ideas, and I'd be like, oh yeah, I guess that's right. Like I never thought of it that way. Together. Together, yeah. Collaboration. Yeah. Community, that's Community. good. That's what our that's goal is. I know, that's what our goal is. That makes everybody feel included and like everybody's important and that helps everybody like when you look at other people's perspectives or how they might do things differently. Um, I think it really opens up your view and everybody else's. What word encapsulates the benefits of this model that is different from Model A? And if Model A is involved, Model B gives you what? It, I like grow. I like yeah, intimacy. That's what about intimacy? You just said that word. I, I really like growth, to be honest. Okay. Yeah, I like that too. Sure. Because there is an element of growth yeah. involved in that that you were describing. Because when you go deep, you are growing. Yeah. And the more that you get involved, the more that you're going to meet people. So all of these words are kind of under the umbrella of growth. So, I love it. Is that our word? That's our word. Okay. Nicely thought through. It may seem strange to say that evidence of deep thinking is a single word, but you understand how much thought went into taking nine benefits and taking what's similar about those benefits and integrating those into a single word. That is beautiful evidence of incredibly deep thinking.